hello guys welcome to another tutorial today i've got a quick tip for you on how to do the dolly zoom camera animation it's mostly used in the movies and uh, film uh, i also use it in my commercials and adverts um, let's see how it uh, goes there so essentially it's an optical illusion caused by zooming in or out the camera lens while moving the camera backwards or forward the result is the foreground stays the same in the same position while the background appears to squeeze or stretch depending on which direction you're going. It's a cool little effect. Mm. As I said, I use it in my, most of my projects. I feel like it, it really has that extra layer of sophistication and um, I think it's cool. Um, let me show you where I, I used it there. Yeah, there's a dolly zoom there. like so so it's 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 neat i i hope you you will be able to use it in one of your projects too if you're new to this channel please subscribe uh, like subs if you don't let's get started so i'm just gonna start with the simple cube which is clone put in a cloner there right there just go with the z direction 200 let's put five let's get our camera position it and so so I'm moving in a bit in so that I can achieve that zoom out effect so let's just do this keyframe let's get to 60 frames Uh, position it like so keyframe so now the camera is moving backwards so to achieve this look we need to adjust our focal length since we're zooming out with the camera we will zoom in with the focal length so keyframe the Let's get to frame 59 exactly. Let's zoom in 60. So, what you get is this look. So, you get that dolly zoom effect. Let me just put some material there. The sky. It's a quick tip. You can use it uh, in your projects. So guys, it's the execution that matters. Anyway, how you use it, it's up to you. But I hope you like. Please like and subscribe. Thumbs if you don't. Um, for more great tutorials, please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.